Let's invite our film team up to this stage. Of course, director Joy Jacoby, we have our producers, Julie Lillaby, Giselle Rodriguez, and of course, Candace Parker. So like, this is a, an early question about the early days. How do you set out to tell the story of someone that has accomplished so much, Joy, but also has a lot of life to live and can do so much more in the future? What's the story you set out to tell at the, the initial stages? And, and Candace, how did you want to shape that with Joy? Um, thanks. I think um, you really, the way that I approach a story is just to let the subject lead. And from the very beginning, Candace was really open about being willing to share her personal life for the first time. Like, I don't think that you had ever really done that before. Um, so there was a persona of who Candace was that I had seen from being a fan and following her career over the years, but I wanted to know who she was. And so I think really just spending time with her and coming into her home, her allowing us into her home, and it was a really small footprint for our production team, we really, it was just myself, Yamit, our cinematographer, um, you know, sound, and it was usually very small. Sometimes Giselle was there too, but it was very, for the most part, a really intimate crew so that she could have us in her home with her family. I mean, like, that was a big deal to just be around kids and you know, the night before um, Air was born and all those crazy moments. So in so many ways, this is, uh, you know, an album of a few years of your life, but I, through that window of, of these two you know, years that were super pivotal personally for you, we were able to then go back and tell this fuller, richer story about your career and your life and, um, the things that I don't think so many people knew. Oh, okay. No, I thought you would add something, uh, but I add something. Please. Yeah. Um, I knew from the first Zoom because at that time it was still Zooms. Um, I did with ESPN and Film Forty Five that that was the right fit. It was super intimate, and in the documentary, I talk about how the first time you you share a portion of your life you, it, it's really hard to talk about the ins and outs of what you're doing, and especially at that time. Nobody really publicly knew about Anya and myself. And I remember just getting extremely emotional on the Zoom. And it was similar like that with Joey the first time we did a Zoom. It just was like a fit, and I feel like you know, when you know that and you're you're able to open up and, and be personal and tell her, you know, kind of the way that you wanted to tell the story. And, I mean, the crew became family, you know, and it was really special to see those relationships develop. And then I, I hope it came to light and came to life on, you know, on film, which I think it did because it was super intimate and personal and open and honest. And I think the story that we set out to tell, because I'm, I'm a huge fan of The Last Dance or you know any other documentary that you watch about somebody that is great at what they do, but it's like the unapologetic vulnerable portion, vulnerable portion that I think is important to tell about people that accomplish things is that there's a vulnerability that you have to have and that I want to have in my life to be the best mother, or the best basketball player, or the best teammate that I can be. And so I think that that's kind of like what our purpose was when we first started to develop this. Can you talk about the title? Like, how did you guys come about that? Because you mentioned it a little bit, but like, how do you land on like unapologetic? Did it come from you, Candace? Is it something you guys like workshopped and thought about? Did it just something natural that it just came out? I mean, it came out of, I think, Candace's interviews and talking to her, and she says that line towards the end, um, you know, really coming into herself and and feeling for the first time, I think, in, in your life and in your career that you were who you are and you don't have to 
be anything for anybody else. For so many years, so many expectations have been put on Candace from childhood. Um, I can't imagine, you know, going through all of the different stages of life and having so much pressure put on you and so many expectations and every time always meeting them, always exceeding them. Um, Candace doesn't care anymore. <laughs> like you're 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 on your champagne shit. I feel like hopefully now like you you've earned that and you can you can just be and uh, be unapologetic. So it really came out of her 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 words and and um, you know we all were yeah. talking about many different titles, right? Yeah. Hello. Is it on? Oh yeah, it's on. We had so many titles, and that one just felt the most organic too because of that line that we put at the end, where she's like, "I'm gonna live my life unapologetically," and it just it fit. It made sense. We were all like, "Oh yes." So yeah, it just like like she said, when it fits, it fits, and that's what it felt like. I mean, you mentioned the vulnerability, right? Being able to do that, but like when you look at the film on screen, it's not just your story. It's also Anya's, like. What does it mean to you to like to share not only your story but hers as well on screen? Well, I think it's a tremendous responsibility. Um, I think we looked at each other when we first fell in love, and we were literally like, we check every single box. Why not to be together? I mean, we're both women. Um, I'm black. She's white. She's Russian. I'm American. Um, we grew up on completely different sides of the world speaking two different languages. But I think it was just the vulnerability and like just us being each other's person that brought us together. And so it's a tremendous responsibility, I think, to be able to tell that story and tell it in a way that is personal to both her and I and our family. And I think it started off as kind of this legacy piece to air to show him how much I love his mom, honestly. And I think that that's what gave all of us the strength is that like we're bringing this responsibility into the world and I take parenting extremely serious mm -hmm. and it's a part of me and it's just, it keeps me going, it wakes me up every day. And I think also another layer is Layla. And you know, I want her to know that she's always been the center of our existence and that you know, our family is extremely important and the centerpiece of everything. And so I think it was just, I mean, listen, I watching that doc every time it's, you know, you, you kind of get to a place in 2023 and you're like, wow, you know, like it's always been like this, but it hasn't like going through the struggles with, you know, both of our families. I mean, going through the struggles with ourself of us not being able to envision, you know, being in the place that we're at. And sometimes, you know, being against where we're at, like this isn't right. So, you know, I think it's just a tremendous responsibility and I'm just grateful for my family, one, always being there and knowing that they're everything, but also two, then allowing me to like, go and do other stuff and chase my dreams and follow my heart and supporting me in everything that I do. So I'm just extremely grateful for them and, um, I'm just so happy that Ann was on board in, in creating this. Very well said. Are you gonna say something, Joey? I just wanna thank Anya too, because like it was a lot to reveal all the things that you did and to be as open with all of us and, and thank you so much for letting us into your home and, and at the day you gave birth. Like oh gosh, like we brought Air <laughs> home from the hospital. Yeah. Like, and you you guys were in the living I remember yeah. and he's just so tiny. I'm crying while I'm yeah, like she's the camera crying. like yeah. oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so just super grateful for everybody um in your life that was willing to to be there and, and lay for for speaking to us. Um so just a beautiful time capsule in so many ways. What was the experience? You mentioned it being on Zoom during COVID and like you guys are pulling this all together, like how did you actually like make it happen during this time with like your schedule and these things and fitting these, this stuff together in a, in a crazy time with an emotional story? Like how did you guys actually pull it off? We were always ready to pick up and go when we had to. We were like just ready, right? And it was 
fast because the thing, the the film got greenlit and Candace was already start like we were there the first day of practice right at Saks and it was uh, preparation yeah mm -hmm. and a small footprint like Joey said yeah we were nimble. I mean, we talked a lot about like your personal journey, but like as an athlete, there's a lot of intimacy there. The rehab and all that stuff was like very, very impressive and intimate to see. Is there anything that like you would want people to know with that, to see that like this is the work I go through, this is the things that I have to do to be the greatest at what I do? How's it feel to like put that out in front of the world? What I hope that was captured on film was like, I'm not gonna make any excuses, you know, for being out on the court because I choose to step out there. You know, I've had eight knee surgeries, I've had a shoulder surgery, I just recently have had a foot surgery, I have degenerative discs in my back, and it's just like this love for the game that has just kept me going. Like, I am obsessed with basketball, and I think I kind of toy, and I hope that. You know, I think Joey did an amazing job of representing it and everybody um, that was a part of creating this of, you know, that kind of, when is it too much? Mm -hmm. Like, what is the line? Where does this, where is this craziness? You know what I mean? And I think we kind of play with that line of, with motherhood, the guild, mm -hmm. as an athlete, like with this other career and other careers that I'm trying to develop and evolve into. And so I think just in terms of an athlete, like what is the cost and the price of winning? When is it too much? And, you know, when is it crazy to go through it, you know? And, um, and also I'm just obsessed with basketball, so I hope that that's <laughs> that shows. I think I just want to add to that, like something that I find most impressive about Candace is and, and also super unique in terms of an elite athlete of her caliber of the choices that she's made as um, in her personal life and that she chose to have Layla um, her rookie season and so many people were, you know, it's hard to hear that in the film when you hear those things. And it, it, but, but obviously it was never a question for you as to whether or not you were gonna, you know, have your daughter and um, and how unique that is. There is nobody that you see um, at her level who has taken that time to start their family um, at the same time as pursuing their dreams, you know. And I mean, working women do that all over the world. And so to see that on film and to see that um, with an elite athlete, I think, is really powerful. So that was one of the things that, you know, drew me so much to your story, and that I wanted to just, I wanted people to see this, like, this is happening out there. But also to add, like, I think there's different layers that I hope different people can relate to, but the layer of, like, being, feeling guilty as a parent, mm -hmm. but also the layer of kids and the sacrifice that they make so that their parents can pursue their dreams. Yes. You know, like my daughter started school in Russia. She crawled in, Tur in Turkey. She did all these things in these other countries and I didn't have to do that. I grew up in Naperville. I went K through 12 there. And, but then you remember, like as I look at Joey's kids, so proud of their mom, right? Like. You're better parents and your kids see you it when you're pursuing and doing what makes you happy. And so I think it's just, I hope that parents can relate with that, that we beat ourselves up for not being at every t-ball game or every softball game or, you know, whenever they have one line in a play. But, you know, the overall benefit of having your kids see you truly happy mm -hmm. and pursuing happiness, I think it, it weighs and it, it's truly valuable. That's extremely well said and very beautiful, but I would, would love to give you the last word if you have other things you would like to add, or Joey as well. Go ahead, I, Joey too. I yeah. think you're up in there. I mean, wow, it's funny, because like, no one has ever, like, um, I always talk so much, and now I'm not talking at all. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm not sure what to add. I guess, like, I just think it's a miracle, like, that anything ever gets made, right? right? Like, <laughs> um, scripted or or documentaries. So I think we're just all really proud that, you know, we also had a limited kind of time frame because you can't, you just can't film forever, you know, even though you want to just continue. Um, and I also think we just got really lucky with your mom, Candace. Like, she had oh so much archival. It was incredible how much she filmed, you know, and you just kind of want to, like, put it all in there. Um, so yeah, I think that's yeah. what I would say we're proud of. I would say that what I love most about the film, which I hope everybody got, so let me back up. Obviously, we we assumed you were gonna you were gonna win. That was like that was gonna be the end, right? That the she's season, the, yeah. The, yeah, she's the gonna win this season, going crazy. right? Yeah, that's good too. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't, and we were all like, oh man, what now? So we started thinking and putting our heads together. And actually, I think it was the most amazing thing that could have happened because it's great to see people when they win, right? People are gonna be at their best when they win. But what are you, and you say it in the car too at one point, right? I, I forget what the line is, but you allude to that. Um, what, what are people like when things aren't going well and when the expectations fall through and mm -hmm. You were so cool, and everybody was so cool. Anya, the family, and you guys were like, "This is just what it is, and we're gonna keep going." And and I think it came, it does it does come across on screen, but we were even privy to more of it, and it was so beautiful. Like, it was so amazing to make this film. It's it's often you get to make things that you're proud of. You don't always get to make things that really I think you're gonna carry with you, and and I think I speak for you, Julie, and I think I speak for you, Joy, and everybody. We're gonna carry this with us, this experience. And it, um, it's more than a sports doc. It's this really great story about a human who is doing the very best that she can. And there's so much mother motherhood, not just with you and Leigh, but you see Anya being a stepmom, and that's beautiful. And then you see Sarah with you, and there's just, there's, it's, a, it's a movie about love, love of the game. Love of yourself, what you gave to yourself, love of family, and I think that's all I have to oh, say. I, love that. <laughs> I, love that. I also just think like it's just a movie about women made by women, and I just mm -hmm. really love that. Yeah, <laughs> that is it's all true. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, to that, and I mean, there's there's just so um, so much that I, I wish that we could have even gone into further, but you learn that no matter what happens at the end of the day, I think like Candace is so grounded. Um, and if it, a lot of, it's not, she's a competitor. Like you, I know how pissed you are. Like when things <laughs> aren't working um, on the floor and in your game or whatever, that you care very much so, but you have something beyond the court that always holds you down. And that's been the case from your rookie season when Leigh came into the picture. And that's something that you don't see with so many athletes. They don't have that grounding um, part of their personality and that's something that that I related to so much when we, as we were getting to know each other and, and that I think is one of your most amazing qualities because just so many athletes out there. I mean, you know, you've, you've spent so much of your life being told you were great. But when you come home to your kid, they don't care. They don't care. <laughs> they care less. Where are my yeah. snacks? Right. <laughs> like, and that's, it's humbling. Um, it's, it's a very, it's a very big part of who you are. And you've had that. Well, I just want to say thank you to everyone um, for creating and being a part of creating this it's um super it was super important for me to not just tell my story but to like really try to help and ha help people tell them their their story and I think help people kind of relate um at this time I was a big like Brene Brown you know like the power of vulnerability right <laughs> so I was all in my vulnerability oh like my you know God those type of, you know, statements and things like that. Um, the story I tell myself and all that, right? Yeah. Um, but I just challenge everyone to like lean into that. Mm. 
you know? And I hope that that's what you get from this doc is that there's power in that, that there's power in leaning into understanding, you know, why things work and your family, your friends, your work, whatever it is, because like that's leadership. And I think that that's what's gonna get us farther than anything. And so I think, you know, anybody that tries to pretend that they're, you know, stainless steel and can never be broken, that's false. Yeah. And I hope that it comes across that, you know, as parents, we can lean into the fact, as partners, as teammates, whatever it is. And so I think that, Joey, I appreciate all of you all mm -hmm. for doing an amazing job. Um, my crew, I mean, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about all of you all and how appreciative I am of helping bring this to life. And, um, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, Candace, so much. Can we just give them a round of applause? <laughs> Candace Park, unapologetic. Beautiful, beautiful film. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Joey. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Brandon.